Praise the Lord. Um, uh, my, my last scan showed that we had some new cancers. Um, nothing very outstanding. The doctors didn't think, but hey, let's up the treatment again and the drugs again. And so we're back to two weeks on and one week off and, um, you know, more drugs and... I'm just, I'm concerned, you know, um, going back to what kind of side effects am I going to heal and, um, you know, the side effects are, um, you know, when I was doing sort of more chemo, you get very ill, you want to throw up, uh, all this kind of stuff, and um, you lose a lot of weight. And I didn't want to go back there. Um, being on one dose a month was good because I had a life. Steve had a life. We had, you know, your your days are not obsessed or taken up with medical <laughs> dramas and medical appointments and all that kind of stuff. And that, was, that you know, there was time to just veg and get better and that kind of stuff. Anyway, we're back to two, um, two weeks on and one week off. And I then developed this over the last couple of weeks, developed a pain in my chest. And of course, I have lung, theoretically, I have lung cancer. And so I, stupidly told myself that this was probably the cancer getting worse and this was it. And the pain was in this whole area on one side and so I was um, to move my arm, to bend over, to do anything, it was quite painful. And also I started coughing I believe, which is what happened last time I, I developed this really awful cough. So in my head, I thought, this is it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get better. I'm going to get worse and praise the Lord, I'll be done. And then with the neuropathy going on for over a year, you find yourself in this kind of mire that you can't dig yourself out of and it just becomes overwhelming and you can't you get to a point where you can't even pray for yourself and you just sit there and you just go I, I, I don't know how I'm getting out of this and I said to Steve on Friday and of course sorry go back to Tuesday I had treatment and Wednesday I was wiped I mean I was in bed at six o'clock I was just uh, uh, not very good. Thursday, same. Friday, nah. Up and about, but very slow. I did, I did get outside, but very slow. And I, I thought that to myself. How, I'm in this mess, so deep. How do I get out of it? And I said that to Steve. How, how, how is there an end to this? You know, I know in my head that the Lord can heal, that this could all be over tomorrow, that, you know, he can do amazing things because I've seen him do it. I've seen him um, just do incredible things. And, and, you know, logically I look at 2022 and the amount of, healings and blessings and miracles that happened that year so there's no reason why it can't happen but you're, you're in it so deep and for so long that it just becomes overwhelming and then with this pain in my chest honestly I was just okay done and I said that to Steve I woke up Saturday morning the pain was gone and I felt this renewed strength and it was just 
it was amazing. I was just like, hey, what are we going to do? Let's go skiing. You know, let's, <laughs> let's, let's do stuff. And it, and it was just amazing. And it's just like, praise the Lord, even when you do feel like you can't get out of the great big giant hole you're in, the Lord is still there to pick you out of it and and help you. And it's like I thought of that scripture about they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And Saturday we or yesterday we had a great day. We did a bunch, did a bunch of things and um I'm just so grateful that even when we can't do what we need to do for ourselves, the Lord is still there to do that. And so praise the Lord and apologies for 